So, you just want automatic retopology. Not a problem. Under geometry and Z remesher, how many polygons you want at the end is determined here. This is in thousands. So, 2 means it's going to try and end up with 2,000 polygons at the end of your new topology. Generally, when you want to target on this slide, I always turn adapt on to give ZBrush flexibility and use its best judgment. But if you don't have a specific number of poly in mind, and let's just say you want something like half of whatever there is, then just turn adapt off and pick half. Now, if there's one thing you get out of this lesson, is keep groups. Z remesher plus keep groups is the easiest way to organize your topology where you want it. If you remesh this cube without keep groups, it'll work. But if you look close, the edges start to get a little confused. If we do the same thing with keep groups though, now we get the topology that we really wanted. When you use keep groups, smooth groups should be all the way up. Otherwise your borders are going to start to look real ugly. Freeze border means that when your object has holes in it, all the points around the hole will not be affected. Here you can see the sphere is missing a chunk. When freeze border is active, it will move and generate new points in topology everywhere except the points that make the hole. If you look closely, none of the vertices out here ever moved before or after the retopology. Freeze groups means that if you have groups, the vertices on the border of the groups are not allowed to move. So if you look here, this sphere has three groups. If we freeze groups before remeshing, every polygon that was bordering another poly group has not changed. Meanwhile, all the polygons that were not bordering another poly group have been reorganized. Sometimes your mesh might have creases to help with subdivision. It's a very common thing. So if you have creases that you want remesh to preserve, turn keep creases on. If you don't, when it retopologizes, your creases will be gone. Now if you're working specifically with hard surface, and let's say you have no poly groups and you would like to retopologize in a way that generates automatic poly groups for your edges, the easiest way to do that is just to check detect edges. And you'll see not only will it generate new poly groups, it also creased the edges in the new topology. When you remesh, it will try to keep the size of each polygon the same, but if you increase adaptive size, you are telling ZBrush that it's okay to change the size of the polygons in order to keep the original shape. For example, you can see the size of each polygon on this body is more or less the same size. But when we get into more detailed areas like the ears and eyes and nose, the size of the polygons start to shrink. And that is adaptive size. If you turn adaptive size off or low, the size of each polygon you'd see on the mouth would be the same as the size of the polygons that you see on the legs. And you would lose a lot of detail. So keep that in mind. Technically, you can use curves to retopologize, but I honestly have never found a relevant use for it. But generally, 90% of the time, just decide how many polygons you want, keep groups, maybe keep creases too, keep adapt on, and you're good to go. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.